Do you own a lot of water? Then you have some very liquid investments. All right, since that joke landed so well, let's actually talk about what liquidity in investing is. Liquidity in simple terms is how easy it is for things to be bought and sold. For example, if you own a lot of a particular asset, let's say cheeseburgers, and everyone in your town wanted to buy cheeseburgers right now, then you could sell those cheeseburgers rather quickly. This ease of being able to sell all of your cheeseburgers makes this asset very liquid. However, if you owned all of these cheeseburgers and it turned out that everyone in your town was vegan, then your asset would be considered illiquid because it would be hard to sell your cheesy death patties to a group of people who only ate plants. Liquidity isn't just a concept to understand the definition of, it's also necessary to keep liquidity in mind when making investing decisions. To make things simpler, let's lay out all types of assets based on their liquidity. Cash is the most liquid, followed by cash equivalents almost immediately, which means other forms of assets that can essentially be instantly converted into cash, and generally speaking, stocks, treasury bills, and certificates of deposits, and other forms of short-term investments are considered cash equivalents. While some cash equivalents can be converted instantly, the longest-term investment still considered to be a cash equivalent works on about a 90-day conversion to cash window. Following cash equivalents are physical assets, starting first with collectibles like coins, stamps, and art. While these assets hold value, they're going to be relatively hard to sell because they need unique and interested buyers to get their fair market value. Following collectibles is land, real estate, or property. These are some of the least liquid assets out there because they can take months to years to sell. There's usually a lot of red tape around selling these assets too, slowing down the process, making them even less liquid. With some examples now thrown onto the liquidity scale, the last thing to consider is the concept of stock market liquidity or investing liquidity. This ultimately refers to a market's ability to allow the exchange of assets quickly. A highly liquid market means that the buying pressure and the selling pressure for the market stays roughly equally matched. The result of low liquidity in stock means that there's a difference between the price someone is looking to sell it for and the price buyers are looking to pay will be greater, meaning the stocks are not very liquid. So in simple terms, that's liquidity. It's something you want to keep in mind as you're divvying up your portfolio and you need to consider how much cash you might potentially need in the future and if you're investing for the short term or the long term.